Welcome back for another Armoring Your Core video. Um, today I've got uh, some of the same things, but also uh, this 30-minute uh, missions uh, little guy here. And I'm going to use him to show off uh, a bunch of weapons I have from the Minimech seller on Etsy. So, for starters, uh, so most of these have an Armored Core 6 in-game equivalent. Um, for starters, we've got a pair of shotguns, that heavy weight at the front, um, and they fit nicely in these dudes' hands here. Um, they don't look well, this is probably a bad example, to be honest, because they don't look super similar to uh, the shotguns that appear in AC6. Um, but they are, uh, you know, mech shotguns I have here. And uh, I guess next up are some weapons that do appear in AC6. Uh, the not technically a shotgun, but functions like one weapon that fires a bunch of slugs at the same time and has a odd grip. Um, if I can get this to focus, there we go. So these bad boys are like those. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but I will have a nice little picture of it up while I do the boring work of putting them on a mech so you can look at them. Um, go. Yeah. There's these. Boom, boom. You've probably seen them in action. They're pretty fun to use in the game and they're goofy looking um and then you want to see that there we go so next up after these nifty shotguns and not quite shotguns we have one of the more interesting items a laser slicer or you know laser sword and the way this bad boy works is uh you can stick it on the arm of any mech or kit or whatnot that has an option part. Like this. You know, um, hang on. Can you, yeah, there we go. Uh, and then, once you get on there, you can take any, any kind of laser blade you want and stick it on there. So. There's a green one. Uh, here's a blue one. Oh, this blue one didn't fit. Okay, well. Um, and a red one. That one fits just fine. And uh, this uh, Mini Mac makes a few different models of these. So if you don't like the way this one uh, looks, for some reason, then uh, you can, you know, certainly just find a different model of it on their uh, store and you can get a different one. But uh, this one is one of the bulkier ones. There are some much smaller options. Um, and so that one's really cool. Um, and then I got that laser, laser sword option. I'll put these, uh, put these lasers away. And then we have some uh, pistols. Um, we got a pair of these. Uh, hang on. Come on. Focus. There we go. We got a pair of pistols. We got, uh, you know, those are the ones. Uh, one in his hand real quick. Thank you. Get 
this guy this pistol. What is wrong with your hand? Okay. Anyway. He's got his pistol. And then uh, there's this pistol, which is a slightly different design, but about the same size. A little more simple. And then finally, there is uh, one more pistol after that one, but I'm gonna prove that something can hold this one first. Um, here is... Sniffed kit with that. Go, and then finally, um, the main pistols that appear in the 6th Armored Core uh, both look pretty similar to the um, very iconic and uh, movie popular well-used Deagle pistol, um, which is known for uh, very, very, very big bullets in a pistol. Um, and the... Uh, The Mini Mac 1 is no exception. It is much uh, larger than a lot of the other weapons I just showed you in size. And it also has a trigger bit, so I'm not going to be able to use these hands for it. So I'm going to grab a different hand. So I'm just going to give this guy the gun. All right. So there we go. Got a big old deagle. Boom. Um, now, uh, that is not the last weapon I've got from uh, Mini Mac today, but uh, it is the last one I'm gonna hand to this guy because his hands are small, um, and this weapon is big, so I'm going to give it to the wart here. So move over, buddy. The wart's time to shine. All right, so um, the uh, this weapon isn't really armored core based, but I figured I'd show it here considering uh, I was already doing you know something. With this. So this is a big friggin' railgun, I believe. There we go. Um, and it is chunky. It's got two ports on the top and one port on the bottom for the magazine type things that uh, Minivac make. And oh, well, his beam sabers kind of blocking. Uh, it, but uh, he'll just hold it sideways like a gangster. Um, here we go. So here's that big blaster of weapon uh, in his hand. And yeah, that's all I've got today uh, for uh, Mini Mac. But. Um, I will have some more, I got a couple things uh, coming for the next one from, I've got a couple heavy weapons and some things and uh, some kits in particular to show off next time. So look forward to that. All right, that is all for now. And uh, hope you like these items. I will leave a link in the description as usual for all the things I showed off today, and uh, good luck finding the 30-minute uh, mission on record kits, because it looks like scalpers are uh, starting to become a problem. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that ends up, but I am gonna try to get some by the end of the year and uh, show them off if possible.